Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought it would be a really fun idea to do a full face of makeup with like shades that I wouldn't normally wear. I never wear like pink lipsticks, like brightly coloured eyeshadows really, um, also like pink tone foundations, that kind of thing. I thought it would be kind of interesting to do like a full face of makeup colours that I don't really ever wear. Um, and a couple of you guys actually suggested this idea. Um, I don't actually know if anyone's done this before. Wait, let me just check. I don't want to... I don't want to steal somebody's idea, let me see. So I'm going to be putting some makeup on this face, which I don't know if you guys can actually see from like this far away, but I actually had a skin reaction, not yesterday, but the day before. I used this like L'Oreal cleansing milk, um, and as soon as I put it on, my skin started like burning, and as I was like washing it off, I could feel all these little bumps come up on my skin, and I've had like these little red bumps, like little, just tiny, tiny little bumps all over my face um, since then, which really sucks, and my face has been kind of sore. I don't know why I keep having reactions to things, because it's really not useful when, um, I make YouTube videos that involve putting makeup on my face. But my skin is actually a little bit better today, like it doesn't really hurt anymore, it's literally just got like the texture left. So I thought I'd film a video because I didn't get one up on Friday, I'm really sorry about that. I had a really busy week, I was at Big Beauty Day Out, um, where one of you guys actually gave me these ears, which I absolutely love, they're so cute. Um, and I thought I'd use them today. And also, they were selling my new merch! This is such a long intro, but this is a sweatshirt which has been added to my merch. It says running late, which if you guys watch my vlogs you will know that I'm literally late for everything in my life um, and it's just like a grey sweatshirt I've rolled up the sleeves of mine it's super soft super cozy the merch store has actually like got a new like URL so I'll link it down below Can you guys kind of see what I mean about all these little like red raised bumps all over my face I don't really know how well it's picking up on camera you can see it more when I like turn to the front but it's just been like all over my cheeks and I know like the rest of my skin is really good but it's just like textured and like really weird I don't understand why that happened. So I thought seeing as though I was doing the rest of my face with like shades that I wouldn't normally use, I thought I would use a primer that I don't normally use and I don't really like these kind of like mattifying primers. I don't really know why because my skin is oily but um, I'm going to be using the Collection Primed and Ready primer because, oh okay I think I need to shake it because it just dripped. It seems like a different texture to what I remember. It's probably not a good idea to be trying a load of like you know new things on my face when <laughs> My skin is having like a flare up, but uh, do it for the video, I guess. This is actually a much different texture to what I remember this primer being. Either that or I haven't tried it before. I can't even honestly remember. Um, and either that or it's gone out of date and it's gone funny. So uh, I really hope that's not the case because... I don't think my skin's liking me very much at the moment. For my foundation, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte foundation in the shade Light Porcelain. I actually really liked this foundation, but the only thing that I don't like about Rimmel foundations is all of the lighter shades. They're all really pink toned, um, and I'm more like neutral to yellow, um, so that just really frustrates me because I can't really wear them because they don't match me properly. It's very like thick and moussey, so I don't actually know if I'm going to like this today because my skin's a bit more dry. Oh yeah, it doesn't work well with a sponge. So I'm going to use a buffing brush instead because I seem to remember that worked a lot better with it. Okay. Oh my gosh. I would not recommend this for dry skin. No offense to Rimmel, like I love so many of their other products and foundations, but this foundation, now that my skin is a bit drier, can you see that on my forehead, how patchy that's gone? Can you see this? What is that? I'm gonna hope that my concealer will cover it, however, the concealer that I'm using is actually too dark for me right now, and this is the Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer. This one is in the shade Neutralizer because when I bought this, um, this was actually the lightest shade, like, compared to the actual normal shades. Um, and this one actually, like, worked for me as a decent shade when I was a bit more tanned in the summer. Um, but when I'm pale, this is a bit too dark, so I thought I would go with this because I didn't have any, like, pinky toned concealers. It's just very, like, yellowy orange and it makes me look a bit like a Simpson but I'm just hoping that anything will be able to fix this foundation because it looks like a bit of a mess. This concealer is so nice but in the UK I really want them to come up with like more shades or like lighter shades and darker shades because all of the shades are just kind of like medium. This is a really nice concealer but it's just not blending 
well over the top of this foundation. I mean, it's kind of evened it out like a bit. For my powder, I have the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 002 Pink Blossom. And yes, the lid is broken and taped back together because do you really have Rimmel Stay Matte Powder if the lid doesn't snap in half and break or you lose the lid? I have the shade Pink Blossom because when Sam picked my makeup, I did a video. I'm pretty sure that's actually my most viewed video ever. He got me the shade Pink Blossom. Um, and my skin is not pink, so... I mean, I still kind of used it because it doesn't really show the colour too much. Ow. I tend to stay away from like warm tones on my brows because I just think it looks not the best on me. Um, so for my brows, I'm going to be using something warm toned. This is the Lossy London Arch Rival Complete Eyebrow Kit in light medium. I have nothing against this. Like they're nice brow powders, but this shade in the middle here is just pretty pretty orange so I'm gonna use that today. I think this shade would actually be really good if you were a redhead <laughs> or like strawberry blonde because it's really quite warm. Whenever I do my eyebrows using a small mirror they always end up wonky. So here are my brows. Are they perfect? No, but do they need to be perfect? No. And for my contour, I normally use something that's really pale and really cool toned. Um, because my skin is quite fair, I normally find that like standard bronzers and contour powders come out way too dark. And one of the ones which I tend to avoid because it's quite warm on me and it is quite dark, so I have to pick up like the smallest amount is Benefit Hula Bronzer. I know that this is so popular, but on me, I think it's just a bit too dark. Um, but I'm gonna try it. And I'm gonna kind of use this as bronzer and contour because I know that a lot of people like to do that. Yeah, it's literally just orange on me. <laughs> I remember watching somebody's video once and they were like, oh, I love using Benefit Hula Bronzo as contour because it's a really nice cool tone shade. And I was just like, cool toned? I mean, maybe it is on some people's skin tone, but on me, <laughs> it just doesn't come out like that. And oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. Oh <laughs> my God. Round my hairline. Oh my god. Okay, so there is that. I have nothing against Benefit Hula Bronzer. If it works for you, that's great. But on me, it's just a little bit too warm. Next for blush, we're going to use this. It's very bright. This is the Lossy London Blush Crush in the shade Harry. I normally tend to go for a very light, um, kind of peachy blush. Whereas this one is more of a dark pink tangerine sort of colour. <laughs> I look a little bit like I've had an allergic reaction, which is ironic because I actually have. So for highlighter, um, I normally tend to go for like a light kind of champagne colour or like a whitish gold or like a very pale kind of pinkish champagne sort of colour. The colours that I actually tend to avoid these days are like the blues and, well to be honest, I never really wore these outside of the house. I don't know why I tried so hard to get hold of the Moonchild palette because I've only ever worn this in videos. Completely fair play, like if you guys like wearing these sorts of shades outside, but for me they're just not really my thing. Um, so I'm going to use the shade Blue Ice from the Anastasia Moonchild palette. I mean doesn't quite go with the rest of the look, does it? It's literally blue. Then for my eyeshadow, um, I always stick to like warm colours, oranges, golds, browns, like kind of neutral colours but warm colours at the same time. And you guys are always saying like, Soph, can you please stop doing looks with warm tone shades? Um, the reason that I do that a lot is because a lot of the time when I'm fi filming videos, I'm like, I might be going out afterwards and I don't want to go out with like super bright makeup. Or it's just because, you know, I'll be testing a palette and a new palette has come out and like the majority of the colours in it are warm toned. However, today I'm going to be using the Pure or Pur, I don't know how you say this brand, P-U-R with like the little dots on the U. This is the My Little Pony the Movie palette and this palette looks so cool, I have to say. It's got like neutrals as well, like if you like just look at these kind of shades, like the top two rows are what I would wear and then also this red. But I'm going to be trying to use all of the shades that I would never go for, so like the greens or like blues and purples and I'm just gonna try and create a look that is something that I would never normally go for. So I'm actually gonna start with the yellow. I actually quite like yellow eyeshadow because I don't know I think it's quite a cool transition shade for if you wanted to do like a sunset eye or something but I'm just gonna use this today. I'm then gonna use this kind of cool toned mauve shade here which is called Generosity. Oh, they're all named after the ponies. How cute is that? 
I probably should have just gone in with this shade first instead of using the yellow underneath because right now it looks a little bit like sick. <laughs> And then going in with the purple, which is called Magic. If I do do purple, I will normally go for like a burgundy or, you know, a warm purple. But this is like literally like a bluish purple. This purple shade isn't the most pigmented, but I mean, it's working okay. I think I just got to blend it out first. Oh. Why has that gone so patchy? What the heck? This purple shade is not... A fan of me and I am not a fan of it let's just try and keep building that up I thought that I said pink eye but it says Pinkie Pie this shade right here is like a hot hot a hot pink and I'm just gonna kind of go over whoa see that one is way more pigmented than the purple I'm just gonna try and use this to like I don't know I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> And then taking my concealer and I'm just going to put some of this on my hand and I'm just going to do the classic hack of putting a little bit on your lash line and then looking up and then it leaves like your cut crease line. My hands are shaking so much and I've completely messed this up. Why is my eye actually burning? These are so uneven. And then taking the shade called Rainbow Dash which is this bright blue. And I'm just gonna hope and pray that this is pigmented because I want to... Whoa! Um, and then taking the shade Princess Sky Star, which is this mint blue green color. Um, and I'm just gonna put that on like the inner kind of part here. I probably should have done that first, but... Okay, it doesn't matter, that's super pigmented anyway. Whoa, look at that. I feel like my eyes look like the sea. I am actually obsessed with that. I'm then going back in with that purple that I tried to use in my crease. And I'm just going to put some of this on the outer corner. I'm just kind of blend it inwards. That's really interesting. It's coming across more blue on like the bits where the concealer was. But then on my actual skin, it looks more purple. It's all stuck to the bit where the concealer is. And then it just won't really stick to my skin. And then on my very inner corners, I'm taking the shade Rarity, which is this white colour. It's matte, but I'm going to try it anyway. Okay, that's pretty pigmented. And for my liner, I'm actually going to try using this white liner by LA Girl. Um, and I can't really remember what this was like, but I'm going to try and do a white wing. It's just not really coming out very strong. You can see it, but like it's not come out very well. Instead, I'm using this Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liquid Liner in the shade Deep End. And I think this is kind of a similar color to what I've got on my eyes. Okay, this is just like a blue liquid liner. I'm gonna use this instead. Oh, that's so annoying. This side has come out like darker because I've got like the white underneath this one. I don't actually have any colored mascaras. So I'm using just a standard mascara, but I haven't used this one before. It's the Kiko Ultra Tech Plus Volume and Curl Mascara. What? That is the weirdest brush. It's got like really fat bit on this side and then the other side is like really small bristles. This mascara is okay, but it's not my favorite because the brush is quite Big. It's just not gripping my lower lashes at all. I'm gonna use my collection lash surge on my bottom lashes okay, So I'm just gonna go off camera and do my lashes for lashes I'm using the iconic London fabulous lashes, which look like this So I've stuck on the lashes although I feel like they look completely different on both of my eyes So for lips, this is where it's gonna majorly clash, but you know, I'm gonna stick with the theme of the video I never wear like bright pink lipsticks. I do wear like kind of like pink nude sort of colors. Um, so I'm gonna use this one, which is one of the only hot pink lipsticks in my collection because I got rid of a lot of them in my lipstick declutter. This is the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Diva. It's very pink. Okay, right. This looks horrible with this eyeshadow. <laughs> So this eyelash is not stuck on properly. This one kind of is, that one kind of worked. Despite like the warm eyebrows, 
The eyeshadow is definitely like my favorite part of this and I would like wear these colors again because I think it looks really cool. Now that I've done the rest of my makeup, the foundation doesn't look the worst and it actually kind of matches me now because I put the yellow concealer on. Um, but everything else I don't really like. I mean, the bronzer is okay. It's actually fine now that I've got the rest of my makeup done. Everything else is a bit like just not, not my color. So this is the finished look. Mmm, I just think we should all agree that I should not wear pink lipstick because it just is not my colour. <laughs> Especially with the eyeshadow, like the whole thing just clashes, but then, I mean, I guess that kind of was the point of this video. Uh, so I hope you guys have found it entertaining, and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also let me know if there's any other like video ideas that you have. Uh, this was just a little bit of fun. I thought it'd be quite funny and like just interesting to see if these colours actually look okay because I literally never use them. But I hope you guys are all doing really well and I will see you in my next video. Bye!